a problem that has been plaguing Assam since the pre-independence era. Uh, it is a part of the larger conspiracy of making Assam an Islamic state, often quoted as the policy of Lebensraum by several Bangladeshi academics and political leaders on several occasions in the past. And in the post-independence era, this thought process has received academic and moral support from an entire network of self-proclaimed intellectuals, intellectuals within courts, journalists, writers, public speakers, and a few lawyers and human rights activists as well. They just stubbornly refuse to acknowledge the bitter reality that Assam has been witnessing a slow and silent demographic invasion by hordes of land-hungry Muslims from erstwhile East Bengal, erstwhile East Pakistan, and present-day Bangladesh. And this has been taking place since the time Law Cousin had clubbed Assam with Eastern Bengal to create a new province in 1905. And although that decision was revoked in 1911, the floodgates have remained open for more than a century now. The Congress Party and as well as the communist leaders, they have been very much responsible for providing fuel to such devious political designs since a long time now. They are always at the forefront of accusing the common Assamese people of xenophobia and therefore repeatedly targeting one particular religious community, that is the Muslims, in the name of protecting their identity. The issue of land, which is the primary target of the encroachers of dubious right. nationality. And uh, it was a long pending demand of various organizations in Assam as well, including the All Assam Students Union, ASU, uh, to clear the large scale land encroachments that have been taking place. The situation of the locals here, it is too despicable to be even described. The coities, robberies, rapes and molestations of Hindu girls in broad daylight and various other such antisocial activities, they have become so commonplace in these areas. And it was in this context that keeping in mind the safety and security of the female school teachers working in the Muslim dominated areas of Assam, Dr. Himanta Bishwa Sharma as the education minister in the cabinet of former chief minister Sarbananda Sonwal, he had to personally intervene in this matter. Mm -hmm.